hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn the notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on this is fate stay tuned on today's episode karana rishab t is critical about her gift karan gift her a designer watch she gets grateful and hugs him she asks rishab to give the gift from his side rishab says he forgot to get the gift she asks how he can forget her fight Rishab surprises her with a diamond ring. She loves it. The snake reaches the whole area. Bani asks Kavya to tag the racket to Shoya. Raju goes to attend the call. Shoya feels overjoyed. He sits for the racket ritual. Nidhi joins the family and soon finds the snake proceeding towards the family members. She gets scared seeing the snake going towards Shoya. Kavya asks Shoya to sit on the other side. Shoya changes his place and gets saved. Kavya performs his ate. Rajvi watches them from afar, sadly. Kavya applies the tilak to Shoya. Everyone smiles watching their sweet bond. Kavya sits to tie the racket to Shoya's wrist while Kritika captures their moment. Kavya drops the molly trade rule. She stops Shoya from bending. She sits down to fix the trade. Shriti tells Prita that they will tie the racket to Krishnaji. Prita tells she would go and get the care. Kavya is shocked to spot the snake. She shouts and alerts the family about the snake. The snake bites on her, her bites her hand. Prita gets the visual of nowhere and screams that Kavya is in danger and the snake is close to her. Shriti can't believe what's happening. Prita gets flashes of her past. The snake chairman looks for the snake. He thinks of taking trouble double money from Nidhi. The family worries for Kavya. They are in shock, Kavya gets poisoned. Karan and Rishab call the doctor. They ask her to keep her eyes open. Shoya asks how the snake entered the house. The snake charmer hears them shouting and fears getting caught. He doesn't want to get arrested. Nidhi thinks Kavya would die after the snake bite. She thinks to ask the man about the antidote. She wants to save Kavya. Nidhi goes to the snake charmer and hides him inside the room. She asks why he came out. He tells he isn't her slave and he won't obey her. She asks him to shut up. He tells the girl is beaten by the snake and would die if she doesn't get help in 15 minutes. That he can help Kavya and save her because he has the antidote. She asks him not to go out and let Kavya die. She doesn't want anyone to doubt her. He tells that he would lie to the family. She bribes him and asks him not to worry about the girl. She tells she would lock the door and go out. Prita recalls Kavya and cries. Shriti tells there is no snake. Prita recalls the snake attack on the plane. She tells Shriti that Kavya is in danger. The family worries for Kavya. Shurya gets hurt. The family attends to him too. Rajvi fears for Kavya. When the doctor gets lit, Kavya gets critical. Raki asks Kavya to speak to her. Rishab and Mahish go to find the doctor. Kritika tells they don't know anything about the snake. Nidhi tells she just researched on the internet and found out that the snake which has beaten Kavya is very dangerous. That they have to give the antidote to cut the poison effect. She asks Kavya not to worry because she is with her. Rajvi can't stand any longer seeing Kavya fainting. He worriedly sucks the poison out of the wound. Shreya asks Rajvi not to bite Kavya's hand. Rajvi spits the blood out. Karan sees him and recalls the way Prita had done the same to save him from the snake poison. Shriti asks Prita why she is reacting like that. Prita tells that the snake will bite Kavya. She gets dizzy. Shriti asks what she is remembering. Prita takes the names of her children, Rudra and Kavya. Goprit calls the doctor. Shriti tells Goprit about the snake attack on the airplane. The Rajvi is Rudra. Prita worries for Kavya. She tells Shriti that she has to go home. Shriti asks where she wants to go. Prita shouts that she wants to go to her house, the Lutra house. And then she faints down, which means she has recorded her memory. Wow. Shriti panics. She reacts Rajvi to stop spitting. Spitting. Karan stops Shriti and tells Rajvi isn't spitting, but removing the poison from Kavya's wound. Shriya says the poison can touch him and kill him. Karan asks him to shut up. Nidhi tells Rajvi he can die if he does this. She asks everyone to stop Rajvi and tells they would need to answer Rajvi's family if anything happens to him. Kavya gets conscious and asks him to leave her. Rajvi tells he would not leave her even if she asks him to go because he is her brother. Karan gets emotional. Rishabh and Mahesh pick up the doctor and rush back home. The Lucha cry for Rajvi and Kavya. Rajvi gets dizzy. Karan worries for him and asks Rajvi if he's okay. Kavya says she won't talk to Rajvi if anything does happen to him. That's um, when Raja started losing consciousness. 
Rishab and Mahesh get to the doc get the doctor home. Nidhi shows the snake picture to the doctor. The doctor says the snake is very poisonous and it's difficult for a person to get saved. Rishab asks the doctor to give infect injections to Rajvi and Kavya. The doctor treats Rajvi and Kavya with the antidote. Karan tells Rajvi has saved Kavya by sucking the poison. The doctor says even a family member doesn't do what Rajvi has done. He tells the family that Rajvi and Kavya would get okay. Shoya tells Rajvi is acting to gain the family's sympathy. Raki asks Shoya to just shut up and shows him the mirror. She says he should know the truth. He should have protected Kavya but instead Rajvi has done a brother's duty towards Raj towards Kavya. She asks Shoya to have shame. She tells Shoya should be grateful to Rajvi instead of accusing him. Karina also lectures Shoya.